Paris, in a sense, was almost a deserted city when I arrived uh, on the Wednesday after the, uh, the late Tuesday night after the Friday Liberation Day, August 25th. I checked into the Hotel Scream. Paris was quiet. There were very few cars. People didn't have gas, and there were, there were only Jeeps. I, I managed to get a bicycle in, in my five weeks in Paris to get around. I, I, I lived at the, at the Scribe, but I worked at the Time Life office, which we qu quickly established on, it was right on the Place de la Concorde in, in the Guarantee Trust building. Um, so Paris was, was a, a fairly quiet city, but a, a fairly happy city. Uh, it was, the subway started, stopped running at about nine o'clock at night. And uh, there was, so you can't say that there was much nightlife. I had a wonderful evening of, of a couple of, an hour with Marlena Dietrich at the Ritz. Uh, I heard she was, had come in town. She was, had been entertaining the troops. And I called her and asked if I could talk to her about a life story. And she said, sure, come on over. And I, when I went to the desk to ask for her, uh, she came down in a, in a white satin evening gown, and I just about fell over. I was in my little Eisenhower jacket. And she, she laughed and said that she had a date with William, Willie Wyler, as she called him, the film director. But she said, we can go into the bar and talk. So I took her Dietrich on my arm and walked the length of the Ritz, uh, the corridor in the Ritz. Anyway, we had, I had a delightful ch chat with Marlena Dietrich until Wiley showed up. That was perhaps the highlight of my stay in Paris. <laughs>